Hello, this is Shandeep Arya. This is a video for running the Tickle script in Model Sim. Here, here I will show you a demo how to run a Tickle script in a Model Sim. Okay. Actually, this is my DUT. This is my design part, and this is my test bench part, and this is the run directory. In run directory only, where my Tickle file is being present. Okay, I'm just here to show you that design part for a Mux, a normal code for Mux. Okay, this is your design part, followed by your TV part. Here, just see that I didn't uh, mention any. I didn't mention any stimulus means my inputs to the here I'll just uh, in this video I'll just able to show the force the value in the model sim so just we'll be seeing in the model sim so first of all just open your model sim just yeah, model sim the model sim will be opening It will be a transcript. In the transcript, try to change the directory. Means in my desktop, it is in my tickle, it is in tackle, and it is in run. I am just giving the run directory. Okay. Then my path will be set to my run directory. Okay. Vlib work. Okay. Vlog vlog sorry vlog i'm just compiling my f list first of all okay it is throwing some error okay f plus f log i find f okay it is being compiled then vsim work dot my top module name Four underscore one. This is my top module name. Yeah. Now my code is being running. Now just add the waves. Right click on this is my top module name. Just add this to your waveform window. So this here it will be. Yeah. Here it is. Just select this. Okay, now you will be forcefully writing some values to it. Force. Just I will be mentioning this as zero. Then uh, I one will be. I'll just keep it as one. Then uh, I two part just I'll keep it as one. Then your I three part I'll keep it as zero. This uh, then my select will be starting. Let me give this two bit zero zero. Okay, next will be your zero one. Oh, sorry. Okay, this is an output, so we should not able to we should not give the force value to the output. Okay, just I have forced the value to each and every signals. Don't press this re restart, so that all will be reset again. So directly you can press the run. So you can see as uh, in the waveform. Okay, next in select, just right click, force. Okay, just give after zero zero, then give zero one. Okay, then press run. Okay, then again force. Give one zero. Okay, then again run it. Your waveform will be coming. Then again, right click, force B one one. Okay, just run it. Okay, this is the waveform you will be obtaining. Okay, now I will show you how to run a tickle script in Model C. Okay, for the Mux. Okay. Transcript will be here. Yeah. Just I will put to the same window so that it will be easily visible. Okay. Just 
this before that I want to run my do file okay do and just I have previously I showed you actually here is my do file in current directory okay so this is my do file okay this is what my do file consists of just I will show you how to run in do file in model sim okay do tutorial dot do it means we are followed by a file name okay then I am just sourcing my tickle file source tutorial dot tickle okay I am just sourcing my tutorial my tickle file after that my tickle file after that just I will do open my tickle file this is what I am going to open then this is proc uh, this is my run sim okay you are going to run this just paste that one okay Okay, you, after running this you can see able to see my waveform which is being updated so just a minute and just keep it here okay after running you can see the changes here see my waveform has been expanded So this is after running my tickle file. Also, I can show you my tickle file where this is. These are my runtime. Okay, since I used puts for my runtime in my tickle file. Okay, I have used puts, the which will be printing my uh, runtime value. So I can able to see it here then if i want to run another tickle then same thing you must able to follow i have another tickle file called verification dot tickle so if you're clicking this this will be opening this is another tickle file which i want to run okay which will be consisting my uh, display statement like display and see found correct correct out so sim out Okay, this under all the tickle file will be consisting which is my file name called verification tickle okay, same thing first you need to source yes source then verification my file name verification tickle okay then after this okay then after that what is my verification tickle name actually verify okay this is my like a module name go to my module sim just paste it verify sim okay this is what you will be running your tickle file in your model sim so this will be the values which is being found just I will show you here verification C disparency found so this one the phone correct so these are the output will be executing okay then there is a like a if if any if my uh, error found whatever the value comes which may which equal to zero means my design verified successfully will be displayed else if it is mismatching errors were found in that design will be displaying okay just I will show you that one okay here it is okay what we using errors are found in the design means my whatever error found value this is not matching with zero means my I found my error so errors were found in the design it is displaying so this is my tickle file okay you can able to view through and this is my code which afterwards I compiled my afterwards running my tickle file 